Hello everyone, welcome to the April 14th, 2019 edition of the Astrology News Report. I'm your intrepid host, Ron Berger. In this segment, we'll take a look at the upcoming planetary patterns and predictions, what's on the celestial agenda for April 14th to April 21st, and beyond. But before beginning... A big thank you to those of you who have been making donations to help keep this channel alive. And a little reminder to the freeloaders to please support this weekly report to keep it going. Stick around for the link at the end of the video to make your donation. Thanks. So, the main shift in the zodiac this week is Venus changing signs. Venus leaves Sidereal Aquarius on Monday, April 15th, and moves to Sidereal Pisces. This is Venus's sign of exaltation. In other words, the planet of love and romance, harmony and agreement, does especially well in this sign. Pisces is one of the water signs. Water signs are based in the emotions. Venus is the relationship planet. Relationships, especially romantic ones, are all about the mutual support that comes with the exchange of feelings, something Pisces is especially good at. So, this is very helpful to Venus significations. Since Venus is the planet of value, it is the planet of finances, money. The other main financial planet is Jupiter which is actually the planet of increase and prosperity, wealth in a general sense. What is interesting is that April 15th is tax day in the USA, and here we have both of the financial planets at zero degrees in their respective signs, an indication of weakness, vulnerability, and potentially confusion. By entering Pisces, Venus joins up with Mercury, which recently returned to Pisces after completing its retrograde period last month in Aquarius. Mercury is considered to be debilitated, in other words, weakened in Pisces. But according to the rules of Vedic astrology, Mercury's debilitation gets cancelled due to associating with Venus while Venus is exalted. Venus, the planet of relationship, harmony, and agreement, operating at a high level due to being exalted, and combined with Mercury, the planet of communication, consensus, and rational decisions, is obviously a favorable combination. But there's a problem. By the rules of Vedic astrology, a planet or a planetary combination is only as strong as its dispositor, which is the ruler of the sign of the planet we are considering. Jupiter is the ruler of the sign Pisces and therefore becomes the final arbiter of how well or poorly the Venus-Mercury pattern will manifest. Jupiter itself has just begun a retrograde period and is at zero degrees Sagittarius, in other words, on the borderline between Scorpio and Sagittarius, an area of the zodiac called Candanta, a place of weakness. So, this indicates that the benefits of the Venus-Mercury combination cannot be counted on. Using the same principle of dispositorship, we see there's another factor influencing Venus, the transit of Mars in Taurus. Since Taurus is one of Venus's signs, Venus absorbs the energy of the planet of conflict and combat, making Venus behave badly. So, what at first appears to be a good thing turns into a bad thing, and the downside of Venus is emphasized. Selfishness, vanity, jealousy. Venus takes not quite a month to transit through a sign. It will remain in Pisces until May 10th, whereupon it will move into Aries, and 
join up with a whole new pattern in the zodiac. There's a full moon this week, on Friday, April 19th, at 5 degrees Libra. This is the culmination of the energies of the Hindu lunar month Chaitra, named for Chitra, the nakshatra, the lunar sign, of the full moon. Note that this full moon is directly across from, and therefore receiving the energy of, Uranus, the planet of unexpected events, freedom, and rebellion. This lunar month has already been full of rebellious energy. You can expect more of that to continue. Now, getting back to Jupiter. During April and early May, Jupiter is the dispositor of five planets, which are transiting in its signs Sagittarius and Pisces. Thus, Jupiter becomes a key factor in how events manifest during April and early May. The planet of truth, justice, beliefs, morals and ethics, prosperity, and so forth, began its yearly retrograde period on April 10th at zero degrees Sagittarius. As explained in last week's report, this makes Jupiter simultaneously strong and weak. The retrograde condition makes a planet stronger. The Gandanta position makes a planet weak. Due to Jupiter's contradictory status, events during April and May will have to progress in fits and starts. Next week, Jupiter will leave Sagittarius and retrograde back into Scorpio. And in a few more weeks, it gets out of the Gundant degrees and gains more strength to manifest. Jupiter, the planet of truth and justice, will become more capable of delivering results from all the litigation going on after a few more weeks have gone by. The justice planet is going backwards in the zodiac, which signifies returning to the past. And this is happening in Scorpio, the sign of secrets and investigations. And now, before leaving, my pitch for donations. It does take a lot of time and effort to put these videos together. You can show your appreciation for what this YouTube channel does for you by donating a few bucks to the cause. Just click on or touch the donation card you see here which will take you to the donation page. Thanks, and until next week.